Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Titanfall 2. Last time we left off, we ended the last episode in this obvious arena where we're going to have a fight. We are still away from our Titan, our good buddy BT7274. And yeah, we're about to... We're in a kill house, everybody. We are in a kill house. Although it's not a house, but it's what it is, it's a fucking kill house. Man, my controller is... And it's... I know why it's doing it, it's the way that I'm holding it. I'm holding it down underneath my table. To hopefully to where you guys won't constantly hear me clicking. Loading it. scenario one two seven in dynamic simulation dome three one four. See, so yeah, that's what these prefab pre shelters. Now we shall see how we are. What the fuck? That's what these prefab shelters are for. <laughs> They're for running uh like military combat simulations. And we are Ash's current plaything. Pretty sure her Titan is a Ronin class. I think she's the Ronin. Um, Delivering militia test subjects. Don't worry, guys. Everything's fine. Because I am here. Cue All Might theme song. Time, yeah, BT. I'll get right on it. Got people to kill. Initiating IMC Reaper test program. That doesn't sound good. That sounds really bad. That it's baby Titan. I need an anti tank rocket launcher. Deploying additional Reaper to test scenario. I can find an anti tank rocket launcher, the big boom. This would be easy. Although we did take that one down relatively in number of range. And I'm sure there's a trophy to make sure all those grunts survive. Fuck it, I'll take the devotion. are dead. Pilot Cooper, are you all right? I think I pissed her off, B 
Negative. You will have to explain that expression later. Get out of there while you can. I have detected an opening in the outer wall. Marking your HUD. Watch out, just me. Yeah, I know. I should have expected the IOC infantry clearly lack your resolve. Perhaps I have no choice but to step in personally. Why yeah, don't you do that? I can kick your ass too. Wow, I remember having trouble with that fight in my original playthrough, but I think I played on a harder difficulty. Don't remember. Not a big deal. Hey, if I just would have let the other episode go a little longer, I could have just ended it right there. Oh well, not a big deal. Regroup with Pilot Cooper. Tempt number 63 failed. 63. Reevaluate definition of shortcut. I can barely read that because my my TV sits on a little entertainment center, and I also have a bunch of crap in front of it. And I have I have mentioned that I love Steven Universe, and I have the I don't think it was a San Diego Comic Con complete dome set from what two years ago, a couple a year or so ago, and I have the whole set, and it sits in front of my TV, and Lapis is blocking. Lapis and Sapphire are blocking most of the word shortcut. Oh, X to continue. Man, I love Steven Universe. Love it. Can't wait for that movie. Steven has a knack. He has a knack. Shut up, Discount Foxhound. And I noticed when I was going back to edit the first episode, I make note of it post in a uh, first episode. I say that uh, Cobra Unit is a Discount Foxhound. I meant Dead Cell is a Discount Foxhound. Foxhound's kind of a Discount Cobra Unit when you think about it. Fudge? Oh. Play one of these games. <laughs> yeah. Pilot, I do not know what you did, but a series of explosions just weakened the manipulator arm. I have broken free. On my way, BT. This so we can kick ass and chew bubble gum. You are not far from my location. And I'm all out of ass. Hey! Double mint. Oh god. Oh god. No! Fuck me. Yeah. Oh, this. There's BT. I remember this, and I like this. Yeah, I already know what to do. I really do enjoy the movement and stuff in this game. It's great. This is a highly dangerous environment. I suggest you embark, pilot. Let's do it. Yeah. and a brute. I think that was a tone. It might have just been a brute. North Star. Um, considering I kicked your ass with it, I'll just leave that to your imagination. I thought I did damage to that weapon. Oh, 
Oh, there were two Ronins. I swear there's a thing you can do where you can rip the pilot out. I swear that's something you can do. Places to be, get the kill, places to be, get the kill. Places to go, get the kill. Although I guess places to be isn't technically incorrect. Hey. She is indeed in the Roman. Dead or alive. That makes you worth something to me. It's a robot bounty hunter. Reminds me of the IG 88s from Star Wars. Let us begin. There we go. All right, that's two members of the Discount Foxhound unit dead. Kane and engaged. Ash. Surface access is authorized. Pilot, the security lockdown has been disengaged. I recommend we leave to the tunnel. Don't worry, BT, we're going. Switch back to expedition. Pilot, I have concluded we should take no further shortcuts. All right, making some good progress here. Cooper's logbook. Our journey through the IMC dynamic testing facility was supposed to be a shortcut. There was some different, though through some difficult terrain, but it wasn't a very good one. No more shortcuts. We've arrived at the rendezvous coordinates for Major Anderson. All we have to do is find him and get some answers. What happens after that is anybody's guess. Again, Lapis is in the way, and I thought it said somebody's guess. Damn you, Lapis. Effect and cause. I don't think that's right. Oops, hit the table. Pilot. Major Anderson is here. Investigate this facility. I will meet you on the other side. Don't get captured again, BT. I will avoid all shortcuts. Hmm. Overseer requests all teams working on the ARC analysis report to the lecture hall for general... Oh, we tripping balls now. I remember this level being vaguely short. I vaguely remember this level being short, is what I should have said. By the way, Robot. What just happened? There are distortions throughout this facility, and they appear to be causing a rift in time. I advise caution until we have further. By decisively neutralizing the militia forces. Yeah, there's some, you know, bullshit time travel stuff going on, apparently. I guess it's less, not that the story is bad, but I said that the story was good. I think it is, but I think it's less that the story is good for me and more that I enjoy the, I guess, relationship between Jack and BT.
Hey, what's that guy doing? He's running on the walls, man. What happened to everyone here? Their bodies have aged unusually. However, some show signs of weapon fire. I hope that doesn't happen to me. It might. Thanks, DT. Strange. I'm picking up traces of my own data signature within this area. The distortions must be affecting my scans. None of these remains match the genetic profile of Major Anderson. He may still be alive. A pilot helmet? Huh. I recommend you check the main lobby of reception. I would accompany you, but unfortunately my chassis will not fit through the door. Oh, lucky you. I detect sarcasm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Bad robot. Oh, hey, that was a weapon crate. And there's nothing in it. I want this pistol. Hey! Stop it! Stop it! I wasn't paying attention. I looked over at my computer to see something and... Fuck. The genetic profile of Major Anderson. Oh, hey, guns. Uh, yeah, let's take that. I think that'll be good against the the dog things that attack you. And Major Anderson is dead. But really, did you expect anything less? PT, I found Anderson. He's uh, in the ceiling. Objective complete. We have rendezvoused with Major Anderson. That's cold, BT. Correct. Anderson's current temperature is 17 degrees <laughs> Celsius, below the threshold of human survival. <laughs> uh... Oh. See this. I know that made no sense. I don't care. Pilot, if you hand me Anderson's helmet, I will analyze it. There we go. With there you go, bud. Anderson, command of Special Operation 217 now transfers to you. Oh, gee. Congratulations on your field promotion, Pilot Cooper. The following is Anderson's mission briefing from Commander Sarah Briggs of the Militia SRS. Now I'm in charge! Ah, ah, things are gonna change. Ago, Sorry, hit the table again. They found something on Titan. A mass now every day was discharged will be this location, Taco time Tuesday. Distortions. I want SRS on the ground to infiltrate the facility. Roger I'm inside your butt. I'll get some answers. This wrist-mounted device we recovered during yeah, Operation tall Grizzly bitch. should protect you. She's fucking huge. Or I'm short. And his mercenaries to protect something critical there. Like, so watch your back. And is Cooper short you know and these two people right are massive? Parts, so don't go alone. Because, I mean, I'm head level with her is chest. The hell? Pilot, the data Major Anderson collected appears to be incomplete. We are duty-bound to uphold and fulfill Special Operation 217. Recommend we locate Anderson's wrist mounted device before proceeding. I didn't see any device on Anderson. It must be on the other half of his corpse. I detect a breach in the security services building. I will provide access. I will remain here and scan the ring structure while you investigate the facility for intel and the missing device. How are you going to provide access? Nice. Maybe next time you can throw me. Noted. 
<laughs> Man, I never noticed before, but there's a lot of, really a lot of reused, uh, not that that's a bad thing, but a lot of the stuff from this game, I think everything was reused in Apex Legends. Is it all in the same universe, I wonder? That'd be kind of neat. Like I said, I enjoyed. Ooh, the Mastiff! That's a shotgun, if I remember correctly. I think it's the, the big, like, more powerful pump shotty. Where's that? I want it. Auto-loading shotgun. Yeah, this is like the... This is the big fat... This is the big boy shotty. And then as I mentioned in the Resident Evil LP... Oh god! As I mentioned in the Resident Evil LP, if you've watched it, I love shotguns. Especially really good feeling shotguns. Like that RE2 remake shotgun. Oh, God. That is like shotgun orgasm. That sounds gross. Oh, God. I didn't realize how many of these assholes there were. Oh, I like that reload animation, too. Putting one in the uh, chamber. Oh! What the fuck? Your own weapon can damage you if you. Yeah. Um. Thanks. <sighs> wow. How many times have I died in the last two episodes? Jesus. Please take a wheel. Yeah. Wait a minute, that just dawned on me. I can't reload, never mind. I'll say, does this game have empty or dry and uh, like half reload animation? Like, if the magazine's completely dry and you reload, it's got one animation. And then... Ah! Jesus! It's like zombie robot, it's annoying. Most games just use the same. This one definitely does. Because if you reload on empty, yeah, you reload the first shell into the uh, ejection port, which is nice. Yeah, it looks like you do. I've never really noticed that. You actually use the charging and around if you reload on empty. Cool, I like that. I like that little touch. I always do. I'm a sucker for really nice animation. There are a bunch of guys that uh, work on Fallout 4 mods that their main like gimmick is that they're, anim they, they're animators and they've got some really nice animations. I know I've been talking about that a lot, Fallout 4 and stuff and mods and shit, but I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 recently, so I apologize if I talk about it too much. And if I go off on random tangents about shit that doesn't pertain to what I'm doing. Yeah, that's definitely the model of the robot from Apex. Yeah, it is. He's even got the smiley face. Uh-oh. Mysterious bullshit's gonna happen. But I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And I'll see you all next time. Till then, take it easy and have a good one.